tonight's video, we'll be playing Nekopara again, like, to finish off and stuff. You know, there's probably ooh, two more chapters, I believe, and then we'll be done. Um, hopefully next week, once I, once I finish Christmas shopping tomorrow, I'll be getting volume two and three, like, as soon, like, quickly, poof. You know, because I do want to download it, but it's extremely hard, so I might as well just buy it. You know, it takes a lot less time, and Neko Power is not really that all that expensive. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, let me, let me just put a... Here we go. So, yeah, let's get this party started. Uh... Data load. Uh, there we go. Here we go. So we have to be extra quiet because it's one nineteen in the morning, which is not good. But I'm doing this for you guys, so I hope you guys like it. Okay, there we go. One, one gato, one milef wheel. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. And one Mont Blanc. I have no idea what those are, but they must be some kind of dessert or drink. I don't know. I'm not French. But yeah, here we go. Yep. It it's the same as the sales invoice. <laughs> okay, Pat, Pat. Okay, then be careful of cars and people and come back safe and sound. <laughs> hmm, forgot what? There's nothing. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Chocolate? Huh? Cute? Look, we can't be doing that in the bakery. Whoa. Don't spread rumors now. Ah, chocolate. Hmm? Okay. Huh? Ah, no. Well, you could say she was, so, um, yes. Well, um, I'm sorry. Could we, could we stop with this, please? I'm sorry. I'm not that good with these types of conversations, so I'd appreciate it if... I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of work. Okay. Phew. They finally left. We had a brief pause after those guests left. I'm not good at talking about my romantic affairs like that. After all, since I was young, the only thing I've done has been making Japanese sweets. It was exhausting from trying to figure out how to respond to them. 
Oh wait, I almost forgot. I mean, yeah. Whew, that was close. Uh, where is it? Uh, this one. Perfect. Just in case I have to cover any obscenities. No. Okay, there we go. Back to... Just in case, you know, it might be one of those whoa things. Yeah, got it. Thanks. Why are you so angry about vanilla? I don't know why. I don't know why, so that's why I'm asking. Are you hungry or something? If you are, you can have a slice of cake. And just why you bringing up chocolate? She doesn't really get upset often. Aside from her desperately yelling I'm hungry sometimes. <laughs> hey, that's false accusations, just when was I ogling them? <laughs> hey, that's not nice. No one folded her arms and snorted. A horny pastry puffer, she says. That was an unpleasant sound to those words. They are just like, it just, you know. I got it, I got it. I'm not flirting, so it's okay. Actually, I'm really not very good at stuff like that. It's just a misunderstanding. Don't be mad. Hmm? Is it? Hmm. An agreeing sound though? It was false accusations to say I was fooling around with chocolate. Hmm. Once I put everything Vanilla is saying together, it sure seems like. You're jealous, huh? Sorry, I'll be more careful next time. I got it, I got it, I'm sorry. I like with more restraint. I got it, okay, there, there. Vanilla puffed out her cheeks as I patted on her head. Even Vanilla gets jealous, huh? I thought she was more carefree than this, though. I guess to be expected, since despite being always together, Chocola hasn't been paying much attention to her recently. I need to be more careful as her owner. Come to think of it. Are you in heat yet, Vanilla? No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm just concerned about your physical health, okay? <laughs> hey. Well, I guess you're doing fine then. I really was honestly worried though. Vanilla latched a chilly glare at me while I was thinking that. Hmm. Nekopara?
Hey, Chocola. Mind watching the store for a bit? Vanilla, I need your help in the kitchen. <laughs> Just what kind of hunch is that? It seemed that she was holding a grudge. It looked like it looked like she told Chocola something earlier too. In any case, I needed to lighten things up. I thought I'd start slowly teaching you how to make a cake. Can you stop it with that nonsense? As always, she was quite the actress. There wasn't really a reason for her to regret anything though. While in all seriousness, I have no qualms with Chocola, a poster cat girl. But I, I don't think making cakes would suit her. Vanilla was the right cat girl for the job. I'd, it'd be great if she's interested, but it'll be fine even if she messes up. So, well, that's how it is. I'll start by teaching you how to make some simple dough, okay? That's so cute. It seems like she's more into it than I thought she'd be. We don't have that kind of customization available. We don't make them one at a time so it wouldn't work out enough about customization first the basic <coughs> while she gave me while she gave a half-hearted response she she measured out the ingredients very carefully according to the recipe she was quick to learn the la names of the kitchen tools and how to use them. I remembered what I taught her without uttering a single complaint. You really take on take on things quickly, Vanilla. Honestly, there's a lot more skilled with your paws than I thought. She proved her non-existent chest proudly. A chest on that uniform might be too high a level for Vanilla. Well, she picked it out herself, so I guess she didn't mind too much. Maybe she was trying to show off her slightly lacking chest. <laughs> oh boy. That trivial thought crossed my mind for a brief moment. Is that so? First time I heard that. Now that you mention it, you're right. It was more 
Like neither of us were the type to come up with nappy retorts. Vanilla also wasn't the type to talk about herself much either. I realized that I had I hadn't heard much about much about her. She smiled with her usual tone of voice. If that's what Vanilla most comfortable, then I'm fine with that. That was without a doubt. It was without a doubt yet. Do you do like it when I bother you, Vanilla? She tilted her head to the side and blinked a few times in confusion. Furring her brows, she put her hand on her chin as she thought. <clears throat> then she hit the palm with her, with her first and looked over at me. You really need to quit it with these jokes of yours. I lightly bought Vanilla on the head. Boom! She really can't handle serious topics, can she? I looked directly at Vanilla and returned to the topic at hand. Whoa, that was neat. I want to be closer to you, Vanilla. Not in a literal sense. What I mean, I want to know more about you and get along with you better. The senpai gently patted Vanilla on the head. As usual, she had a baffled expression on her face as she looked up at me. I'm fine with the distance between us right now. But I want to be a better owner, you know? <clears throat> That's why I want to know more about you. I want to understand you better, Vanilla. You're one of my precious cockerels, after all, Vanilla. Even with what happened with Chocola, I was I was concerned about Vanilla. Vanilla was right. I didn't know much about her at all. That exactly why I wanted to know more. The three of us will be together from now on after all. You're right. So Vanilla could be cute at times too. She pouted. Her cheeks became rosy. <laughs> Vanilla mumbled as she looked up at me. Perhaps she really does have a low tolerance for serious matters. Well, I know it's a bit out of character for me, but I wanted to get that out in the open. At the very least, I wanted to tell you how I feel. As an, as an unbefitting wry smile came out of, came across my face. I faced chuckle and spoke my true feelings. I told you, that's not it. <laughs> and, oh, sorry. She was absolutely adorable. 
Not true smile. The level of honesty she normally didn't show was making my heart skip a beat. No, 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 no. I have a serious discussion here. This isn't the time to be thinking of how cute Vanilla was. Whoa, no, not now. Huh, Vanilla? What's wrong? What smell are you talking? Hey? Hey on earth, earth to vanilla. You are really close. I say close, but it was more like she was stuck on to me. Vanilla buried her face in my chest and continued to sniff. Okay. Okay. She looked up and pushed her face against my neck. <laughs> I could feel her body and lips press against me as we know the sweet Smell and softness flowed through out my entire body. Wow, wait, Vanilla! Huh? Did he say Fleming response? Well, let's just leave it at Fleming response then. Ah, oh, sure. I laugh it at that. Oh boy. Hey, I told you, not during work. All right, all right, just a bit, okay? Sheesh, what a handful. Huh? What is it, Vanilla? Beep, boop, beep? I don't know what that means. I can clearly sense the spite in that evaluation. You were watching the whole time, Word. I wasn't saying you were slacking off or anything. No, I mean, never mind. It was obvious that she's 
staring at me the whole time. With a sudden, sudden over rebellious phase of hers. I'm not sure cat girls have her rebellious phases though. Anyways, the total sales for today is Manila headed towards the register paying me no heed. Okay. Hmm? Um, vanilla? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're the one who's pressed against me. When I tilted her head, head with a perplexed look on her face, I've seen this reaction before. It seemed similar to something that had just happened yesterday. Vanilla? Could it be that you're... Chocolate is taking it out right now. Hmm. This is how Chocola behaved yesterday. Could it be Vanilla's in heat? The two of them were twins. It wouldn't be strange if they were going to the same stage. It isn't the same level as, as Chocola was yesterday though. In any case, I'll just observe what she, what she does a bit longer. Oh, sorry guys. All right, you did well. Pat, pat. You okay? Chocolate is energetic as ever. That th that's definitely true. Hmm? Are you alright, Vanilla? Well, like, how are you feeling? I see. Then that's good. Well, she seems the same as usual. There we go. As usual, Chocola wouldn't be getting visibly dizzy when she's in heat. I guess Vanilla wasn't really in heat after all. I'll be done cleaning up the kitchen shortly. Vanilla, go and help Chocola. Mm. Mm. <laughs> huh? Vanilla? Okay. Yeah. She's definitely in heat.
Hey, Vanilla. She came up and embraced me from the front and rubbed her cheeks against mine, speaking in a sweet voice. Hey, Vanilla, calm down, okay? Okay. No, no, no. Enough of that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just finish this up. No, no, no. Enough of that. No when you're studying for the bell exam, I saw an actual Fleming face. What the hell is a Fleming? I gotta look that up. Besides, you're one of the ones that said it wasn't good for your health to hold your urges in while in heat. It's not something to be embarrassed about. I argued with Vanilla. Was being in heat something to be embarrassed about? I didn't think cat girls felt shame though. Okay. Ah, chocolate. What the hell? What is happening? What are you doing? I'll just skip past this. This is kind of weird. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Chocola. Okay. She is. She was gripping her shoulders as if she was trying to hold back something. Vanilla, is she right? As her owners, I asked Vanilla once more. She looked at me with trouble and unturned eyes. She answered me hesitantly. Aww. Poor Vanilla, bowing her head very slightly. So you, so you really were after all. I'll just, yeah, I'll just pause it. You can just give me a sec. Safe? Yes. There we go. Yeah, it's been 30 minutes already. So hopefully in the next video, you know, uh, next weekend, unless you guys want me to do it on Sunday, you know what, yeah, tomorrow too, you know, Nekopara. Um, so yeah guys, that does it for this video, I'll see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.